Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folio. We're jumping in again. Let's randomize our character, see what we might get. We've actually got a streak going, which is kind of crazy. And we get Tainted Apollyon, which apparently does now have Abyss Plus Plus thingies. So we should uh, do some Abyss Plus Plus stuff with Fiend Folio items if we can. We don't have to, but there is unique Wisps now. Or you know what I mean. Not Wisps, the other one. The one that actually isn't Wisps. I Locusts, that's the word. It took me a while. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is a hard room. Uh, oh, this is a really hard room. If I take some damage in here, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too sad about it, because this is kind of difficult. Anyways, yeah. Hope you guys are all having a good day. And for the question of the day today, what is something that you are adamant you will never try again? What is something that you've had once and you didn't like and you will never ever try again, whether it be food or an activity or something? For me, it's definitely got to be the majority of seafood <laughs> like um oh this is kind of decent we should just press this button actually um a black red dripping one extremely low chance to drop a black heart when killing enemy that's good but honestly i'm just going to take the ability to heal it seems super useful um but for me it's like the majority of seafood i do like some seafood i like crab i like lobster um i, I like most fish but like mussels squid all that crap no, thank you. We'll never, ever try that stuff again. I have had it a few times, and every single time, it has been absolutely and unequivocally disgusting in both taste and texture. I'm probably missing out on some really good food, but goddamn, it was real bad. Okay, you are, you're spawning a greed boy as well? You gave us a card this time. I like the fact that that one drops cards instead of pills. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll pop you down here. Unfortunately, you're not very useful. I might bomb you. I think I probably will bomb you. In fact, I probably should have placed you somewhere where bombing you is a little more valuable, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Some extra pennies here. Yeah, I probably should have placed you somewhere where bombing you would actually give us some more value, but... Pushpin? Pretty decent. Pretty decent. But yeah, if we see some Fiend Folio items here, we will attempt to, uh get them gone via the abyss also this boss is uh i don't know i'm not a huge fan of this boss to be honest i think he's a cool boss but i think he appears way too early for how difficult he is um and that is currently being proven by the fact that i'm taking a lot of damage to him i am going to die to this boss aren't i doesn't matter about that streak then doesn't matter about that streak then. I think that boss is like really, really hard for where he shows up in the game. He has a, a lot and a lot of health. He has two phases, which is just bizarre for a floor one boss. And yeah, he does fire and he does that little triple shot thing that's like really, really fast. That I think I'll, I'll definitely learn with time. And it's probably me just being a little crybaby and like not knowing how to fight him. But honestly, yeah, I find that boss really, really difficult. Really, really difficult. But yes, I've had a decent day today. I um, I got up a little early and uh, I've been playing the Modern Warfare 2 uh, beta for the multiplayer. It's been pretty fun. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm quite into Call of Duty. I always have been. Um, Broken Shell's pretty decent here. It gives us three Giga Bombs and we get this little tiny boy. This is slightly annoying. Oh, dude. Do you have to? But yeah, I like Broken Shell. The little familiar dude. He's pretty useful. Also, a broken heart here is pretty good, especially considering we can fill it straight away. And we can actually utilize this little bomb to uh, our advantage to try and get secret rooms and stuff. It's a little bit hard to use because obviously it targets enemies um, and it explodes pretty quick. Whoa, what the hell? The Heart of China. Um, hello, Heart of China. Overhealing charges a special bar. Filling this health bar grants an empty heart container. Um... This, the number of hearts in the special bar scales with how many hearts you have. The special bar can be viewed by standing near a heart that will be overhealed. Interesting. We'll grab it. Why not? So, we can overheal now. And that will give us some stuff. So, like, here, we overheal. I don't know how that works exactly. I don't know what overhealing really does for us. But I'll take it. Nice. I'd like to open this up, but using a Giga... Oh, there's a Resident Rocky. I was going to say, using a Giga Bomb here seems a bit wasteful. But, honestly, it got the secret room. It did get the golden chest. 
it did get the golden chest, but um, game's balked, so we don't get the golden chest. Thank you. Thank you for that. Very, very annoying. Anyways, let's go fight our boss. I might just gigabomb the boss, depending on what it ends up being. If it's an easy enough boss, then maybe not, but... If it's this guy again, then hell to the yes, and I'm going to gigabomb him. Get into your second phase, you fool. Of course I get this guy again. Yeah, I, I think I think a two-phase boss on floor one is just... Nah, it ain't it, chief. And there's just so much going on with him as well. It's really annoying as well, because it's like, it's a very, very cool and well-designed boss. But it, ma it, it makes it feel like a not as fun of a boss, because it shows up a bit too early. And obviously we did fine with him there, but that's only because I had a Gigabomb this time around. We got the Corn Kernel. Eh, I'm really not a fan of the Corn Kernel, but good enough. I, oh, I should have abyssed it. Damn! <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Anyways, let's go down the regular path here. Um, we have had two Fiendfolia items so far that I've decided to not turn into an abyss fly. Maybe asking why, and it's simply because I'm a goober and I forgot. Um, also, the Heart of China sounds like it could be kind of interesting otherwise, um, so I do want to try and utilize that a little bit in the way it's intended rather than just turn it into an abyss fly. But I should have at least checked what the abyss fly was. That was my bad. Um, Book of Secrets, a white, lo a white question mark locust that does a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, I'm going to say the... Um, I don't have any bombs. Shit. Um, the Book of Secrets, it's decent, but it's not great. If you've got already got a mapping effect, then it's kind of better, but... Oh, yeah, honestly, this little dude's fantastic. This little bomb dude. Great. I will take him any day. It's overheal again. I realize we're probably going to get a lot of enemies here, but I don't mind it. As long as you don't press them all at once, be fine. Yeah, the bomb does have a little bit of a timer on it as well, so you can use it to blow up other things. Hey, nice bit of money here. Whoa, hello. These guys are cool. Are these new? What the hell are these little things? That's a bomb. Steam sale is an item I would like to um, just get rid of with uh, Abyss, but honestly, I think I'll take it. I think it's good enough to take, especially with the amount of money we're now on. It's going to keep us going for a good while. Be careful of the little burns these guys throw. They're really deadly. Beautiful, you're dead. And as are you, my big lad. Abyss is ready again. Maybe we'll end up abyssing a few shop items here and there. I really want to abyss the next fiend folio item I see, but I'm just, I have a feeling the next one's going to end up being one that's really good that I don't want to abyss. But at the same point, that is kind of the whole point of this video is showcasing that a little bit. Oh, it's the whole point, obviously. It's just a normal episode, but I really would like to showcase that as I can, considering I did kind of promise last time that I would and then I didn't uh, because it wasn't implemented yet. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, fiend folio has abyss plus plus compatibility and it just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's now been added in an update, so. Or at least I think it has. What if I'm wrong again? That'd be tragic. Yeah, flies are doing a good enough job right now. I really wish I turned the corn kernel into one. You bombed yourself, you fool. Um, That's pretty good. I think I'll say no to the devil deal for now. Good to get the extra bit of fire rate. And then let's go find our shop. And hope for the best with our shop. I'd like to get a bomb, really. A bomb would be quite nice. Maybe maybe we'll just play the um, fortune telling machine if we don't get anything from the shop. Because a, a trinket would be quite nice. We don't have a trinket right now. Um, and some soul hearts would always be good. Good, good. Gimme, gimme. So, black card doesn't do much for us, I'll be honest. I'm going to buy a bomb. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy all of these. Queen of Clubs, what does that do? I don't think Black Card's worth buying. Um, so what was 12 random bombs is awesome. Okay, if I was asking for bombs, I have been given said bombs. You know, find our secret rooms. Sad that our secret room had a crawl space because our item room also had a crawl space. Um, excuse me? Do I have to bomb this? I do. 
Interesting. We got a trinket here as well. Not a bad one either. Especially with the overheal thing. That could be kind of good. I think we're going to leave it there. I don't even think we're going to play the machine. I might bomb it, to be honest. There's no any reason why I wouldn't. And then we'll try and take a little cheeky peeky for a second secret room as well. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Um, we've got enough bombs to make this probably worthwhile. I reckon we're going to get a trinket from this one. Nah, we've got a lot of money, though. Um, we're nearly full on our overheal bar, which I can't remember if something happens once you get to full on it, but... Again, we'll find out. Um, second secret room could easily be here. And it is. And I think I just bombed them both. We've got so many bombs to play around with. Why not? Let's just fill up our overheal bar. Hey, we gained something. Was that devil chance? Angel chance, sorry, that we got for that? Is that all? I don't know. I'm not really sure what, what, what we got, what we gained from that. I think that was just from bombing our, our beggar, so... Um, or maybe we get gained an empty heart container for that. In which case, maybe devil deals are the way to go. I'm going to at least check it out. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Those items are trash. Those items are a bit poo-poo. But yeah, I think it gives us a heart container. That's kind of good. So every every four excess hearts we get, we get a heart container. That's pretty good going. Considering we've got Bloody Penny too. That could be really good. Now we just need a way to generate pennies a little more regularly. And that's really going to be a, a very good setup. Secret room could be here. Let's check it out. For an XL floor, finding the secret room that early is pretty awesome. Especially considering I just checked this on a hunch and that was it. Ugh. Trash secret room, sadly. I will at least check for this. Not much the... Oh, God. That fires a lot of bones. Got a lot of bones to pick with you, fella. Not too much worthwhile in there. God, I love the music on this floor. So whimsical. Electric flies are a little bit tricky. Really want a fiend folio item I can suck, so give me one. I would, I would like to suck, please. That is an Ipecac one, which I don't think Ipecac ones have their own thingies um but at the same time i oh no it did okay i actually don't care about that item as an item so yeah i'm glad it had one but it, it cool to see that it did you've got iframes you little turd burglars not too bad stop firing your bubbles at me yes i don't know if these guys can maybe oh they, i was gonna say maybe they can slow but it actually makes more sense yeah they can poison that's good. So we've got a, a, a reasonably reliable way of applying poison now. It seems to be actually very reliable, saying that. Very reliable indeed. Because it seems to just apply poison when it hits. Maybe maybe they just don't deal any actual damage, but they just apply poison. Which, honestly, I'd be completely fine with. Or maybe it's like 0 0.1 times damage. You never, you never really know unless the uh, EID tells you. I'll take all three of these. Honestly, our run is not good or bad enough for me to not want to do this. Um, uh, health down, honestly, I'm not that miffed about. Um, considering we have a pretty consistent way to gain heart containers, I don't really mind. We have a combo that's going to allow us to get quite a few of them, so I'm not too sad about that. But obviously, I'd rather have not lost it. But yeah, I think after this... Um, on the docket for today. It is um, the, the Queen's funeral today. So everyone's got a day off. Ooh, Sci-Fly. I think I'll be taking Sci-Fly. Thank you much, Lee. Um, yeah, it's like the Queen's funeral today. So like everyone in the UK gets a day off. So that's why I'm able to like, just play Modern Warfare Beta all day. And, uh, and it, consider it's a Monday. If, by the way, a few people have asked in the comments. And just, just to clarify, I don't really care about the Queen's death. I, I, I was never... I was completely impartial to the Royals. I didn't despise them or hate them or anything, but I also didn't care about them at all. <laughs> um, ooh. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky one, because it is kind of a... It's an active I do like. Maybe I'm just going to abyss it. Yeah. Hey, we got a big old rock fly here. Just 
just hoping to get blood bag at this point here. Come on. I mean, we're getting a lot of money out of this, but this is kind of taking the piss. Guess we'll wait until we got more HP. I do have to get excess health to make our Heart of China work. That isn't really going to be a thing for a little while. Yeah, I thought I could get a really easy, um, what's it called here? Blood bag, but, or IV bag. Honestly, IV bag would probably be a decent, a decent pickup. Ow. Walk directly into that one. Uh, we've seen item room. We've seen shop. I think we're just good to go. Our health is really bad. Okay, no, we've got another item room to find. I didn't realize this was the next elf floor. Oh, God. We might die to this guy. I don't really remember how this guy works. I mean, we're killing him pretty fast. Oh, my Lord. He does full heart damage. Bitch, why? <laughs> Chariot. Oopsie. Uh, we've got... Spawns one to two spicy keys. No, thank you. Bombs will drop more often. No, thank you. Uh, teleports you to an area room. Grants Brimstone and Lord of the Pit for a room. Well, this this better save me. Oh, God, no. Sci-Fly. You absolute pleb. What was that about? Just didn't do anything to help me whatsoever. Lovely. Uh, we'll take Fettered Heart. Well, we roll again. We roll it back. A little bit sad. I, I am actually surprised at how little Sci-Fly did to aid us there. Like, what an absolutely useless piece of shit. <laughs> Sci-Fly, you've lost your touch, man. You need some need some lessons in actually saving people's lives, because you did not do a very good job of it at all. I'm very disappointed. Got another XL floor here. And it was just kind of rough to get two bosses I'm completely unfamiliar with in a row. The Fiend Folio bosses are significantly harder than the base game ones. Mainly due to... I'll definitely take this as well. Mainly due to um, unfamiliarity. Got a verp there. We'll keep a verp. Yeah, mainly due to unfamiliarity with how they work and their attack patterns. But also just because they are designed to be harder. You can definitely tell. Okay, so let's try and use Fettered Heart here if we can. Not really easy to use on enemies with such a low HP, but I'll take it. Okay, if we get a bomb, we can go for that. We do have um, some extra HP here. Extra HP, extra fire right here. So want to make sure we try and keep that for as long as we possibly can. Which I don't know how plausible that's going to end up being, but we shall see. Um, Fettered Heart did absolutely nothing there. Thank you. I really love the redesign of those enemies. They went from such useless, boring, pointless enemies to actually having some flair about them. I mean, that's the whole point of the mod, but it just... They did a very good job of it, is what I'm trying to say. We did indeed get ourselves a Tinted Rock Destroyer, otherwise known as a bomb. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we do have one of these fellas shooting up his tears all over the place. Dropping creep and all that. With this being an XL floor, there's probably a little bit more to see on this floor. I'm just, I'm missing that last run. I am. I'm missing it. We didn't even have anything like crazy good, but... I wanted to keep going. It was my own fault for playing the hell out of that um, machine, but I really thought with Bloody Penny and just everything we had going for us, we'd get a payout from it very quickly. And we didn't, so I went whole hog and got myself killed. That is the Turtle Mountain way. Don't underestimate my stupidity, for it is unmatched. Fettered heart. Right. Double boss time. Don't give me that boss again. I think I think it can only appear on burning basements. I think we're good. Also, is this a... I'm going to say, this is a room that I thought it was. Yeah, th these guys can pretty easily kill themselves on the spikes, which is quite nice. If you'd like to... Make your way down here. No. Not up for that. 
Well then, we got a Kettle Heart here. Chocolate Bar, a Brown Locust. No, thank you. I think I'm just going to take the Chocolate Bar. I need the damage. And then, ooh, hello. Easy. The one bomb and done. Two White Locusts. Eh. I'm going to take everything here. I'm not bothered with my Locust so far, and I will check the Devil Deal. Deadly Dose. Cyanide Pills can appear, which provide a risky all stats up. We also get the Ice Cube, which is pretty good here. Um... I guess I'll take this and abyss it. We got a cyanide pill. Gives a big stat boost while active. High chance of pills spawning on room clear. Kills the player after 60 seconds. Can be prevented by taking a pill. That sounds very, very risky. So let's just see. We, we take this and we get a pretty huge all stats up. And then we got a vet. Vet pill's probably one of the better ones you can take, right? So, we just got to keep an eye on that timer. Once it gets down to like 20 seconds, I'll, I'll pop the pill. Because I don't want to push the boat out here. I don't want to take too many risks. I'll take the all stats up for a little bit here. But after that, I'm uh, not willing to keep it. You got number one there. You got number one as well. Inner eye. Decent. I'll take it. Especially with the fire rate where I'm right now. Not going to keep that for long, but still. Okay, so we're on 20 seconds. Then we, when they, okay, then we pop the verp. Does give us another cyanide pill. Um, I'm going to pop another cyanide pill and then take whatever this is. I think that's a really, really interesting idea. Really, really interesting idea for a, um, an item. It's very, very like risky and a little... Like, I, f I feel it can be a little difficult. But the fact that it like, gives you a bunch of other pills on room clear and stuff... Makes it way more viable. I mean, there you go. You got a golden pill there. I want to see what the, uh, the the locust does. I have no idea. Also, the golden version of this trinket's pretty good too. So yeah, we've got a bunch of pills about now. Bunch of pills. Oh, what the hell? Um, those enemies are very broken. That is an incompatibility between uh. Two of the enemies. Let's pop the pill again here. Oh, we've put all these enemies to sleep. I've been wondering what the hell that pill does. Good to know. So yeah, those enemies normally pop out little eyes, but their ID apparently overlaps with the spiders. So, kind of creates a bit of a weird one there. Ooh, okay, we got Trippy Mushroom Boy. I really like these enemies. They're really cool. I want to try and kill, kill an enemy with this locust. It turned it purple. I, I saw that at least. Take some of these other pills, why not? Shot speed down. Sadly, we can't get to that golden pill. That would have been nice. Secret room's most likely here. We did get an item chest with Swarm Protector in it. Um, A white angelic locust with significantly increased shock speed that blocks shots. Hell yes, I'll be taking that. I'll also check this out. Hey, birdcage as well. Um... Bad cage locust will greatly increase hitbox. Ooh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll turn that into an abyss locust as well. Are you a wizard? Are you a wizard pill should also give you spectral like the item does. I like the fact that we're going to have like one with greatly increased shot speed. And then once we get bad cage, it'll be one with really reduced shot speed as well. I like the idea of that. But yeah, considering it's an on-hit item, we don't need to be... Uh, Taking the item itself, rather get an effect that isn't on hit. Ow, that was a very bad hit by me. Oh no, I lost my aura. Okay, don't. don't I was about to say, oh no, I lost my aura. It doesn't matter. I got the same aura back. Don't you worry about that. How oh, are you not dead yet? Okay, good. We're going to have to do this room because I need my Abyss charges. At least you killed one of them. That killed all of you. Nice. Always take out the fettered enemies first if you can. A reformer. Fettered enemy there. Which was a nice bit of damage to every other enemy in the room. 
We really need to keep our fire rate bonus, because otherwise we're going to have a really low fire rate. Because of our triple shot. Are we into the shop yet? We haven't. Okay, shop is definitely viable then for us. We want to come in here, we want to abyss this, and it gives us a little bird cage. That's so cool. But he's going to have re yeah, really low shot speed, but he does have very high damage at 1.6 times. Got a decent little grouping of fellas here. I quite like it. Um, what we got here? Doubles all trinket spawns. Converts any trinkets to golden trinkets on use. That sounds pretty interesting. But also, there's options. Now, we're going to take this. This is, this, this is a way more interesting thing. I've already got a golden trinket, so it doesn't do anything right now. I can just spam it. That's pretty cool. You're frozen, sir. Yeah, the amount of damage we're doing with our locusts now is pretty good. I like it. Easy. This is another one I'd very much like to abyss, but I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity to. Really, double key spawn. A locus of famine that slows every enemy hit. Damn, can't get that either. Don't think there's a battery in the shop. I'm just going to take this. Bit sad. Anyways, away we go. Yeah, double trinket spawns is pretty good. Being able to turn them gold is even better. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to, to hold multiple trinkets because right now we already have a gold one and that gold one is very good. I think it's one of those items as well where... Even if you, it's kind of like the smelter, where it's kind of worth buying 15 cent just to pick it up once to turn your current trinket gold. I like the idea of some of those. Like, it has the usage of being able to keep it and it being great. Um, Tears turn 90 degrees. That's potentially really good. Um, we'll see how this, this, this works out. We made it gold, nice. I don't think it being gold does much. What on earth? Yeah, I don't think Brainworm's that useful for us, I'll be honest. It's good, but I don't know. I never I never really find Brainworm to be all that all that super. It's like pseudo herming, but like a lot worse than herming. Although saying that, I did a pretty good job there, but like that guy just wouldn't it wouldn't herm in on that guy at all. And I don't know why. I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping this. I have no idea if this item increases uh, trinket spawns either. It might. It definitely does. <laughs> um, so this is good here. I'll definitely pop that. That was a very good proc of that. Okay, I, like let's just keep going. We'll just keep swapping out trinkets as we go. It definitely must increase trinket spawns though, because that's a lot that I've got already. Copper bomb there. Unused transforms half your health into fiend minions. Okay, this is definitely an interesting abyss one. We get a bunch of fiend flies. I like it. Look at the little fellas suspending and suspended in bubbles. They're so cute. Good on this front. Oh god, I always forget they do that. They plunge into the water. Hello. Um. Yes. Oh, did that, did that lose my aura? I thought it was only on enemy damage. I didn't think it was on self damage. That wasn't very worth it either. What on earth did that do? I'm confused by that. Damn, what aura did I get this time? Damn it, no! I've run significantly worse now. I didn't think self damage cleared your aura, but I guess it does. Ooh, keep a sack with this much money is good. Very good indeed. Oh, copper bomb, come on now. Why you gotta do me dirty like that, copper bomb? Why you gotta do me dirty like that? One momento, por favor. No, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. I don't need to pause. Uh, 
Okay. Oh my god, my fire rate. I kind of need to maybe get hit on purpose a little bit to uh, get back into a state where my thingy isn't terrible. Ooh, hello. Bum beanie sir. You've sat very perfectly next to that bomb there, friend. Remember that this guy explodes into a bunch of flies when he dies. Always forget that with this dude. It's problematic. A pink locust with slightly increased speed. A large black locust with a red glow greatly increase hitbox and two times damage. That sounds amazing. I'll take that. Plus one black heart, all heart types have 33 percent chance of being converted to black heart or black locusts. Okay, I'll take that too. Bit risky, but there you go. Okay, we make our way down. Pretty good run for the second one. Second time around. I'm really liking this uh, this extra locust we got here with the extra hitbox and damage. That seems like it's going to be very useful. Very useful indeed. And honestly, Brainworm's doing a decent job right now. Just super sad about my fire rate. It, it, it felt so good. And now, it feels so trash. Where the hell is the last little goober? There you are. Give me some more trinket spawns. I want to get, like, cancer. Cancer trinket would be ideal number one. I mean, when, when wouldn't it be? What room wouldn't it be ideal number one on? But still, just... A hush locust with greatly increased speed that does extra damage and a chance to block, block projectiles. Also, another one that I will definitely turn into a locust. Way more valuable. Oh, hello. What the hell are you doing down there? Really? That missed? Oh, shit. You can actually kill those enemies? What? <laughs> I never knew that. I thought you had to get in to unlock all the locks in the room. School bag's pretty good here. Staple's also pretty good here. So now we can turn our trinkets golden and still have another active. I think that's pretty top tier. We would like to find our shop because we do have Keeper's Sack. Also, Secret Room is definitely plausible here. Where the hell might it be? Could be just here. Like on this wall. Oh, we got back to Fire Rate again. Huzzah! We're back in the gold. Lovely. Okay, it's probably here. Oh no, the bomb dude would have hit it. Oh, I see you there. I see you there, you tricky little minx. Dominic. Thinking you're all that. Still think Dominics are a little bit on the janky side in terms of like how their power lines up. Because I feel like once you've once you've seen them, once you've like know they exist, you spot them nine times out of ten. And they, they just give you free loot for a bomb. And normally the loot's pretty decent. I think they're a good idea, but I think their balancing is still a little bit in question. For me, at least. Might not be that uh, everyone agrees. And that's always the case, to be fair. Whenever I um, rant and rave about balancing or whatnot, it's always balancing in my opinion. Whether people agree with my opinion, especially the developers, is completely up to them. If they don't think it's overpowered or they like how it's balanced currently, then there's nothing saying they have to listen to me. I'm just throwing out my feedback there for anyone that's watching. And also, it's kind of like to probe the viewers, you guys, if you agree with me or what you would do to change things. Or It's, it's always nice to kind of hear how my opinions differ or line up with, with you guys. I'm always appreciative of your comments that are sort of either calling me out for being bullshit or being wrong. Or at least trying to give me an understanding of the way you see it sort of thing. Boom. And boom. Penny. Chompy Ghost. Where's our shop at? We've travelled so far and wide. Still no shop. There it is. Ooh, they got triple shot too. That's my item. 
Wait a minute. That's the item I've got. Money there. Really? No shot. God damn it. Big sad. At least we got one more floor to potentially buy stuff in. Right, anyways, let's skip this hop to skip this cop. Right down back to the boss room. Should be a fairly, fairly swift boss fight, depending on what it is. I'd like more trinkets, though. <laughs> Where are you, trinkets? Give me Smelter as well. Smelter would be top tier with this as a, as a pickup. I'm loving the ability to block shots that we've got on a few of our uh, lurkers here. Working out real well. Piece of cheese. Piece of cheese. Um, I'll leave that for a second. What we got here? Risks reward. Can be used to re-roll an item in a treasure room um, into one of a higher quality. This is achieved by traversing a unique prism prisonic zone and fighting hermit. That sounds really cool. I will take it. So it only works in treasure rooms. We've only got one more floor of it being useful, sadly. Um, but we can upgrade the quality of an item. That sounds really interesting. I'm, I'm, I imagine getting this early would be just insanely good. But we'll try that out. On whatever ends up being in the item room here. Even if it's something that we generally would normally take, we'll try it. I don't know. I think... I, I Actually, I was going to say I don't know what would happen if it's quality 4. I, maybe it just re-rolls it. No, I lost my fire rate. Maybe it just re-rolls it. Maybe it circles it back to being a quality zero. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Make the mistake of accidentally using this um, on an item that's already quality four and you just burn yourself. I kind of, I actually think knowing how Fiendfolia is, that's way more likely to be the way that it works. It's just going to cycle back down. Ugh. More money? God damn, we're getting so much money. Grab that real quick. Eh, excuse me. We got fire rate again. We're getting really lucky with the fire rate bonus. We've basically exclusively had it the entire run, despite being hit multiple times. Red key piece. Got a puzzle piece here. You! You are a no! Right. Item room or item room? Where are you? So many random pennies that I just don't care about anymore. Oh, God. That is a very, very tricky room if you don't have uh, an easy way to kill those poops. No China's heart anymore, either. That's the thing I'm saddest about losing. I didn't even really get a chance to see what it did. Fettered Heart on these fellas is so good. Oh god. Oh no. Keep losing my fire rate. No, I got it back again. The fire rate bonus is back again. I don't know how it's happening this way. Okay, so we finally found our treasure room here. Oh no, I lost it again. Can we get it back? Magician's probably a good idea to take here. We didn't. No. Okay, so this is a quality one. So if we use this, it gets... Ooh, that's pretty cool animation. It gets sucked down into this hole. Oh! Okay. Oh, we got some unique enemies down here by the looks of things. Oh god. How tricky is this going to be? We get some extra rewards while we're down here as well, by the looks of it. Some chests. I really like the way the doors look. My god. Oh, awesome. What an upgrade. Boom. Get bombed. He, like, sits it on top of his head as well. That's so cool. Nice. What an upgrade. That's so much better. And we get out of here. That was cool. I'm sad that we got this as, as late into the run as we did. But still, nonetheless, a very, very re uh, cool way of re-rolling items. I approve. I'm also getting hit a lot, but that's partially because I'm trying to get my fire rate back. It's definitely not an accident. Ooh, I got my damage. I got damage up there. Also, two two greeds in a row when I've got a, an item that I get rewarded for buying things, and I've already got 76 cent. 
Thanks, game. Really appreciate that. Increase the chance for copper bombs to spawn and sun bond. Ooh, baby. I'm going to take sun bond. I don't know if it'll actually work. Probably won't work for our fl uh, locust. I was kind of assuming it would, but I don't know why it would actually. Probably means it's not very good. I'm still going to keep it anyways. Why not? You fettered boy. Ow. I'm taking some mad damage right now. I might die again. Still though, this has been a really fun run. A really fun episode. Yeah, I took some crazy damage there. Uh, I guess I'll just take this. Probably should have taken Dark Path actually. Oh well. Anyways, I assume if we don't get fire rate here, we're probably going to die. We got damage, which is good. Damage aura is nice. Oh, we don't have keys. Heck. Fettered is helping us a lot here. Oh, God. Dude, you are strong. What the hell? Also, still makes absolutely no sense that a hearse that had its head down can't be killed while it's got its head down that is made of flesh. It's literally just a brain. It's like the most vulnerable part of the body. It's like, nope, got my head down. I'm invincible. It's like, nah. Kind of works for the stone hearsts, but I don't think you can pull that one when it's not made of stone. When it's made of brain goop, it doesn't really go for the same way. Do you know what would be nice? we got some black hearts from that item that's supposed to give us extra black hearts. Yeah, do you know when I was like, ooh, yeah, we can try and build a streak. Ha <laughs> ha. Remember those days. Remember those days. I was so enthusiastic. Be actually believe what I was saying, but nowadays, all hope is lost. The streak is dead, and so am I. On the inside. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> either, either way, it was a longer episode anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed some really cool items in there, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.